Yo, what up Clashers? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. The title of today's video is My Defense Got Me to Titan League, and yes, it did. So we'll get to that in a minute, but first, I'm gonna tell you guys how I got to Titan in the first place. So I was attacking on like a Road to Titan League series, and I got to 4100. And then I just sort of chilled there. I, I wasn't really attacking much, and I was losing a lot on defense, especially because I had my Town Hall outside. So I made a new base. The one you see here and I put my town hall inside and guys I won a ton of trophies the first night I used it I got it right here so I started out at 4085 trophies that's just under Titan 3. I had three defenses that night and I won a total of 59 trophies and then I lost eight in the final defense. That put me up to my personal best 4136 trophies which is insane just from defense. <laughs> so, you know, a total of 51 uh, trophy profit at this range is pretty rare. I'm, I'm super lucky. So, let's look at some of the defenses, guys. First up, look at this guy right here. This guy was just dropping trophies. He was a really high trophy pusher. He was at 4,600 trophies, and he dropped all the way to 1,500. Looks like he wanted to farm his walls. I don't blame him. He's got... Um, you know, he's got a few level 10 walls, mostly level 9, so he's got a lot of time farming if he wants to max. Now, let's look at some of the better real attacks, guys. First up, the one that I won <laughs> right here, and you can almost guess what's going to happen. So, you might have seen the guy got 29%, and usually when that happens is because people don't spread their troops. This guy's going to basically make one entry point and go in from there. He's trying to make other entry points, but... Wallbreakers got thrown off the map. So basically, he's going to have to go in this one entry point here and use a jump spell trying to get into the core. Now, you may not have noticed, I just noticed, that this guy does not have an Archer Queen, and that's crazy. It was either a mistake, or I would assume it was a mistake. I would assume he didn't realize that he didn't have his Archer Queen because it makes such a difference. I don't think too many people would attack in Titan League without it. So... Sadly, he's not going to make it to the town hall. He's not even going to touch the town hall, although he was pretty close. And I bet if he had his queen, he could have gotten it. I mean, if the queen targets the town hall, you just use that royal cloak ability and boom, 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 boom. Pretty much a wrap. You know, you can get the town hall at least. Maybe not 50%, but you can at least get the town hall. But sadly, Daniel's going to lose. He's going to give me 21 trophies. And sorry you had to lose him that way, Daniel, but I do appreciate the trophies. This was an awesome win for me psyched on this so this was just the start guys um of this little run that got me up to where i am now i'm currently at my personal best by far so but you know between the two wins this one and the trophy dropping that was 59 trophies like i said after those i got one where the person beat me and it's pretty obvious that somebody's gonna beat me when i have uh, no clan castle no heroes etc. And here is that attack. Look at how much loot I have. I have half a million of everything, over half a million, and uh, a lot of Dark Elixir. It's crazy to see this, you know. I'll, I'll always have loot, tons of loot now, because I don't have anything to spend it on. I can spend a little Dark Elixir on the Dark Elixir spell upgrades. I'm pretty happy about that, but basically, the only other thing I have is dragons to level 5, and let's be honest, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. I'll, I'll do it fairly soon, but <laughs> I'm not in a rush. So, Look at this, guys. He's setting up pretty nicely. Now, this is a pretty standard way to attack. You make the openings early on, and then you know where the golems are going to go. But it's a good trick. If you guys don't do it already, you know, try to start. Making the entry points, it just makes the golems more predictable. And this is kind of how I attack, too. Putting one golem on each side, and then everything else right in the middle. You got at least one golem or two in the middle with some P.E.K.K.A.s, witches, wizards, whatever you got. And your heroes. So... Normally, I have this side stacked up with traps. I've got some bombs here. I've got Because for whatever reason, people seem to attack this side of the base most. And I guess I would too because when the Arch Queen's awake, you want to start on the Arch Queen's side. But the only drawback of attacking on that side, this guy had to face both Infernos at the same time, basically. Like, they were both shooting his troops at the same time. And normally, that's something you want to avoid unless you have two free spells. Like this guy did. So, he turned out fine. You know, with no clan castle troops and not many traps and no heroes on defense, he just cruised through this base. I mean, I'm not going to say he almost three-starred me, but he did pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, his full health Arch Queen is going to get a lot more buildings. Mostly take all my loot. Come on, dude. 
I need that for a dragon upgrade someday. Don't take that. So, half million elixir. Probably gonna be half million gold too if he gets this other gold storage. And frankly, I don't really need the gold. Um, there's one more thing I have to do, which is max the air sweeper, the second air sweeper, which I'm doing right now. But that's gonna be done soon. And then, I don't need gold anymore. The only thing you use it for on pushing is searching. And even like, even like half an hour of searching in Titan League, it doesn't use that much gold. Because you're not getting bases like very often. So, there we go guys. The one loss I got. Minus 8 trophies. Not bad after winning 59 in the first two raids. Of course, those were just luck. But that's, you know, sometimes that's part of pushing. Luck. You know, especially on defense. It just matters who you get matched up with. Speaking of luck, this was another incredibly lucky thing that happened to me. Um, I'm not sure if I explained this, but after I logged on and I'd won all those trophies, I went out searching, and after 5 minutes or maybe 10 minutes of searching, I found this amazing base. This base was worth 40 trophies. That's huge. You know, normally if you see a 30 trophy base, you're like, yes! But 40 is just crazy. 40 or more, you know, that's big time. That is whale status. So, we're going to do three entry points. One of them is going to be with a jump spell to get over this outside wall. Other two with wall breakers. And this is basically how I attack this base every time I see it. Um, it's good to have a predictable way of attacking a base. I threw the, the wizards down way too early and you'll notice they all got blown up by bombs. <laughs> I had a few extra I threw in. So, you know, that's something I'm trying to work on. Throwing wizards later in the raid, in this type of raid, you know, save five or six later. After the bombs blow up, then you throw them down. Same with the rage spell. You don't want to throw the rage spell down too early. So there we were able to freeze the opposite side Inferno, and we're doing great right now. Cruising towards 50%. Already got the, the one star Town Hall very easily. Got some golems and wizards over on the right. They're doing some work. And anytime you have, uh, you know, a little group of troops like that picking off buildings, you're going to get the 50% just fine. Uh, no telling how far we could have gotten. I'm going to quit out here to save my Archer Queen. But, you know, we probably could have gotten up to, you know, 60% or more. We were really cruising nicely there. But, uh, nice raid. Looks like that guy got attacked before I attacked him. I don't think he had a clan castle either. I know how you feel, buddy. <laughs> Happened to me just yesterday. So, great trophies there. Out of the 40 trophies total, I was able to do 26 for a 2-star. That's incredible. That's great trophies. Yeah, guys. Personal best just after 2 defenses, well, 3 defenses, and 1 attack. I am now at 4162 trophies. This is the highest I've ever been, and it's mostly due to those defenses. So, I'm really psyched that I had all that luck. You know, and that great attack that I found. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this luck, seeing all these defenses in that one attack. I certainly enjoyed showing you guys. If you enjoyed it, leave me a comment below. Wish me luck as I continue on up. We're going to try to get to 4,200 pretty soon, guys. So, again, wish me luck. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.